Working hard. Do my do my. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we call him Big John. That's the Minister of Warfare right there. Kofi John. So we've got the Minister of Finance with the Minister of Protocol. JP watching on. Which ministry am I? Well, are you on our team now? No, you're the Minister of Protocol for our team. You're working with the Minister of Finance right now. We don't have freelancers in Ghana's, Ghana. We actually have a five-year imprisonment for anyone who stays at sentence. Joseph Priest, Minister of Construction, along with Marsha Askins, Minister of Finance. Over there we've got Hana Montana. Minister of Education, Big John, Big Kofi John O'Neill, Minister of Warfare, Christopher Andrews, Minister of Engineering, and Paige Arrington, Minister of Protocol. Han is Minister of Education. <laughs> and Fashion, right, Minister of Education and Fashion. <laughs> no, we've taken, we've taken you, we've promoted you now. So you have to design our, uh, for our council, uh -huh. our wardrobe. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for something flashy. <laughs> I think you've already got it, Doc. This time you're going to be the right, perfectly. Is that good? <laughs> yeah, that was good. Alright. <laughs> I need some gear in there, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's it. Got it in my mind. Rub it in, man. <laughs> oh, gross, dude. You're all covered in dirt, though. I know, that's every time I went over with the pickaxe, half of it went down my pants. <laughs> 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 Mark. Here, I need a little bit on my arms, that's all. This is Ed actually working. Yeah. Go. Oh. This, this. Ed, what would you like to say? What? What do you want to say? I just am so tired. I feel like I'm like working in Africa or something. We have a situation here. Um, a car full of men have driven up and um, They've informed us that the Queen Mother has come. Every village has a chief, council of elders, and a Queen Mother. Queen Mother advised them to come talk to us because we have not paid our respects to her. We have not asked for permission to uh, be on her land. All right. Now, we came here with Habitat for Humanity, and we did get permission from the chief. As you've seen, we've already gone to the chief's palace twice now. We've paid our respects. We've given him gifts. And he's he's granted us permission to be here. I mean, look, we're building fucking houses, but whatever. All right, I try to get you know, try to get that out of it. But in any case, we definitely paid our respects and offered gratitude to the chief for letting us come here to build. And um, 
But now the Queen Mother is insulted that we haven't come to visit her yet, and they're demanding that we go with them. All right. By the way, our Habitat for Humanity guide is not with us right now because he's driven to Kumasi, so he's not even here. So we are now going to, uh, we're negotiating now with these men who say, Queen Mother demands that we get off this land or else we need to go to her palace right now and go uh, pay our respects to her and ask her permission in order to uh, continue building our houses. So uh, what, that's what's kind of happening right now. So we're having like a little meeting, we're having a little meeting here right now. <laughs> Let's pick some herbs. But what we're saying is, we're not doing another out of work until it's resolved. Either Judy's getting on the phone with somebody and figures it out. But realistically, we, we can work. I mean, what's... But the threat of masters right could get to, her to get, right gets it to a point of like she could call the chief yeah, and yeah, just work okay. it out right exactly here i don't know come here goat come here goat come here goat Solomon. Solomon. What are you What are you doing? But now I'm going to be here to be with her. Now Kenya, you can see me going to be here. You can see me going to be here. Okay. Um, I told them you say we are not going to work. We are not stepping back. Give me a sprite, dog. This could be my last sprite. If I die, I want to die with a sprite in my hand. You might actually need the Minister of Defense here. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we need to go get them. Bring them back. All right. Yeah, that's a minister of warfare anyway. Our minister of warfare follows our, our real minister. <laughs> How did you learn to speak English so well? Well, bro, I'm not. Oh. That's, that's, you school and you speak English. You school, then you learn English. Wow, yeah. you speak well. Wow, thank you. <laughs> and that's it. Yeah, all right. <laughs> all right, here's a breakdown. It's in the afternoon now. As you saw, we had a little brouhaha. Turns out we sent some of our leaders over to talk to the chief of the village and uh, the chief wasn't there, he was in Accra. So we were gonna meet with the sub-chief, but the chief's councilman informed us that this lady really isn't a queen mother, she's like a lady in waiting to be a queen mother. So it was obviously a political move, but in order to maintain- Why, why is the door open? In order to maintain security for our team, we decided that we would not work anymore because we were being asked by this person not to work anymore. So we felt like it was a good idea not to work anymore. Kind of as a way of saying, look, we just we don't want to get involved in this. We don't want to get in the middle. So we're back at our hotel. We had to cut out early. We've got one more day to finish two houses. And I'd say the mood is remarkably light considering the turmoil that we've been through in the last two days. But keep you posted. Yeah. Just to give you an idea of um, what the conditions here are, I have to take a shower now, and um, this is uh, what I'm about to step into. 
in order to uh, take my shower, I've got to step into about a foot of um, brown, dirty water. And uh, they don't have showers. You have to hold that thing with one hand and then soap up with the other. A shower? So to speak. Well, it's a shower for short people is what it is. It's a short people's shower is what it is. But, you know, it does the job. So, you know, I mean, really, who can complain, you know? Right? So we just got done with a meeting of a few of the elders from the council with the chief. I would explain that when they initially set up with a number of chiefs in the area, this effort to bring humanitarian work to the surrounding communities, to get the authority to work on the site and presenting ourselves to the chief with our homage and, and respectfully asking him for to permission, for right? Permission to work on the site. Granted. So we did the right thing. We were in the right. All right, good. So, look, you hear it. You heard it here first on Transcendent Television. Peace. All right, thanks for that update, Mr. John O'Neill, Minister of Warfare. Tonight. We dance. Tonight we dance. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>